The 10 Usability Heuristics by Jacob Nielsen. Visibility of System Status, or What is Going On? This principle states that the system should always keep the user informed about what is going on through appropriate feedback within reasonable time. For example, if we look at a desk lamp, we can turn it on or off. We know what is going on due to the light emitted. If there is light, the lamp is on. If it isn't, the lamp is off. Always make sure that your system communicates clearly and thoroughly with the user. Match between system and the real world. Or, what are you talking about? This principle states that the system should speak the user's language with words and concepts that are familiar to the user. For example, if we look at a children's book, the wording is simple, clear, and concise, so that it is understandable to young children. Children's books don't have long, wordy, complex, Dostoevsky-like diatribes about the meaning of life. They talk about a big red dog and its red ball so children can understand and relate to what's being said. Always make sure your user can understand what your system is communicating to them. User control and freedom, or oops. This principle states that users often make mistakes and that they will need a clearly marked emergency exit to get back to where they really want to be as fast and as simply as possible. If we look at your everyday TV set and its remote control, there's always an emergency exit. There is the back to previous channel button, which takes you back to where you were in an instant. Always make sure that your system has a simple and efficient emergency exit to fix user error. Consistency and standards, or, oh, I know that. This principle states that users should not have to wonder whether different words or situation mean the same thing, and that you should therefore have a convention and continuity across your entire platform. If we look at public restrooms, we know which one's for men and which one is for women because the symbols are a convention. Always make sure that your system has continuity and convention across your platform. Error prevention or glad I didn't do that. This principle states that the best designs don't only have great error recovery but prevent users from making those errors. If we look at a car dashboard, we have excellent error prevention. We don't want something to go wrong when we're driving at 80 miles an hour on the highway. A car dashboard clearly and efficiently informs the users of what will go wrong if nothing is altered or fixed. If your engine is about to overheat, you are warned in advance so you can address the problem in a timely fashion. Always make sure that your system has efficient error prevention. Recognition or recall or wait, what was that already? This principle states that systems should minimize the user's memory load by making objects, actions, and options more visible. The user should not have to remember information, but should be helped with recognizing what he wants. If we look at the Google search tool, we now never have to recall entirely what we are searching, as there is a smart search that constantly attempts to help us recognize what it is we are looking for. Always make sure that your system prioritizes recognition over recall whenever appropriate. Flexibility and efficiency of use, or it doesn't matter if you're an expert or a newbie. This principle states your system should incorporate accelerators which are unseen to the novice user, but that allow the expert user to navigate faster with frequent actions. If we look at the Adobe CS Photoshop program, you can see that a novice user can navigate with the mouse and select the different tools, and an expert user can simply access the tools via the keyboard shortcuts, V for arrow, M for rectangle, mark, F for view, option plus or minus for zoom, etc. Therefore, accelerating repetitive tasks and making the usage more efficient for the expert user whilst not affecting the novice user experience. Always make sure that your system incorporates accelerators to facilitate expert users without affecting novice users. Aesthetic and minimalist design, or wow and whoa. This principle states that dialogues should not contain irrelevant information and that any extra unit of information competes with the already present relevant units of information and therefore diminishes visibility. The design needs to be minimal and therefore as efficient as possible but also aesthetically beautiful. If we look at the Apple remote, we can first say, wow, this is a beautiful object. But after using it, we can then say, whoa, it's so simple and it works so well. Always make sure your system is aesthetically pleasant and efficiently composed. Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors, or my bad. This principle states that error messages should be expressed in plain languages and precisely indicate the problem. If we look at a pencil, 
When the tip breaks, the user clearly understands what is wrong and what can be done. Always make sure that your system has good error recovery. Help and documentation, or now I get it. The principle states that even though the system can be used without documentation, it may be necessary to provide help and documentation. If we look at IKEA merchandise, in many instances, we can assemble what we purchase without much difficulty, but there is always documentation in case we are in need of help. Therefore, always make sure that your system has appropriate documentation to help the user. These were the 10 usability principles by Jacob Nielsen. They will help you make your system more efficient and more usable. So use them wisely and stay usable. Thank you.